If you're looking to build the best team possible, maybe you just don't want to spend any money, you want to get going from the start of your career mode, putting the best players that you possibly can. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Maybe that's not your cup of tea though, maybe you're just looking to update the rosters because EA haven't got the new transfers in play for you. You can also use this tutorial to that effect. We're going to jump in here, show you exactly how to use custom rosters in career mode. Let's jump into the video. Saga! So if you're looking to make some custom changes, some custom rosters for you to start your career mode, maybe you just want to update uh, the player rosters because the transfers aren't quite up to date, you can use this video. Uh, for instance, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo in the first season has only just joined uh, Juventus, so we cannot sign him. He's only just recently joined. But using this method, you will be able to put him straight into your team. You won't have to go in there and uh, worry about negotiating for money, worrying about how much money you've got. And you can use any club that you want to do this with. So. Let's jump into it. I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up a custom roster and start playing career mode with it. So the first thing we do need to do is go across to customize and I want you to jump into profile to start with and we're going to save a brand new squad. We don't want to over save anything else that we may have set up whether it's stadiums or something you've set up for a previous career mode. This will set you up for a brand new career mode that you're about to begin. So we'll go create new squad. Uh, we'll call it squads custom and we'll get ready to set up a, uh, a really invincible looking team uh, for a career mode to play with. Once you've saved your initial squad up, we're going to back out. We're going to go across to Edit Teams, and then we want to go across and Reset All Squads. So any particular changes that you have made, if you've made creator players or anything like that, it will all be reset now. Stadium names, everything. If you hit this Reset All Squads button, it will completely refresh uh, your game, and you will be starting from square one. So let's reset all the squads. Do you want to do it? Of course we do. So all the squads are reset. Now we want to download the latest updates. Depending on how far we are through in the cycle of FIFA 19, there could be transfers already being made. It could be post January, and maybe you're just looking to do a couple of updates that EA haven't done just yet, but you're always better off downloading the current updates before we jump into the career mode. So we'll do that first. We'll connect to the EA servers, of course, because you need to be online to get these uh, downloads done. Wait for that to happen and watch the clock tick by. Okay, retrieving the data, please wait and let's allow. Do you want to download the latest updates? Yes, we do. So this will give us the most up-to-date uh, rosters that EA have implemented into the game. And from there, we can start making some changes, uh, making any transfers, whether they're realistic or you just want to set up a super team. So the latest squads have been downloaded. So what I want you to do now is back out once again, go to your profile, uh, save your squad again, just to be double sure over the squad's custom, hit save, hit OK. So that means that is the current squad. Any changes we make right now will go over that squad. If you want to reset, you can load up one of your other squads by going to load squads. But for now, we have that one in play. Now we are going to go across. Let's pick a team. We'll go into team sheet. Let's just find some team that's completely random with no money. And uh, we'll see what we can do about it. Uh, let's head off to Norway. I mean, low low rated teams here. They're still available to play in the Champions League. Maybe you want to do some sort of Norwegian road to glory. A one star team would be very interesting. I've obviously got no money whatsoever. So uh, let's grab this one star team in Ranheim football. Um, you can see there one star, pretty much 60s around the coast. Let's completely flip them and turn them into the best team that you possibly can. This is completely unrealistic. But uh, we are going to build a quality team without spending a single cent. So we back out and we come across here to edit teams and you want to go into club transfers. Now the first thing you want to do is go to the team that you're hoping to play with. We'll go to uh, Norway, we'll find that one star team in Ranheim Football. Have a look at their current squad, they've got 24 players, their highest rated player is a 67. Now the first thing you want to do is start offloading some of these players to the free agency list. Uh, so as many as you can get out, you usually have to have 17 outfield players. So uh, offload as many as you can to start with. We're going to get rid of them all eventually. There you go. You get the message that says you cannot have uh, any less than 17 outfield players. Now we are ready to start doing the transfers. You can do it realistically. If there is a transfer out there that you do want to make, you can do this. Make that one or two changes and start your career mode. You're up fine. But what we're going to do in this one is set up some ridiculous team to play in the Norwegian League. So um, basically, all we want to do now is back out 
and go and find some players that we want to, you know, transfer across to this Norwegian team. So if we uh, duck into, let's go to Italy and grab Cristiano Ronaldo. He, you know, you can't sign him in the first season until January, uh, but we can do it right here, right now. 94 rated. Well, you're going to end your career uh, in the Norwegian league. We pick the team that we want here at the bottom in Ranham Football, and there goes Ronaldo. He is now playing in the Norwegian league. We'll send Dybala over, Chiellini, uh, Benatia, Costa, Pjanic, you know, there we go. They are down to 17 players, but that doesn't matter. We don't care about Juventus anymore. Let's back out. Let's go and grab some more players. Let's go and pilfer from uh, some of the other top leagues around the world. We'll head off to Spain, of course. We'll hit up, uh, let's go to Atletico. Uh, Godin can come across here to Norway as well. Let's just build a, a superstar team. Ranheim, Oblak like the goalkeeper for sure. Griezmann, Costa. Okay, can go as well. We'll back out once again. Let's go and uh, see. Look, Ranheim already up to a four-star team. Let's go to Barcelona. Lionel Messi wants to go and join this super team as well. So we head off Norway, find our team once again in Ranheim. We'll send Suarez to Stegen, Coutinho, Busquets, Rakitic, Elba, uh, PK, Mtiti, Vidal. They're all going. 17 players left at Barcelona. Let's go and have a look at Real Madrid as well. And you basically just keep going through and get all of the players you want. You can build a superstar squad of 52 odd players. Modric now, he is going to move over this Norwegian team. Well, they've come into some sort of money, but uh, maybe they've just won Lotto. Ramos, Cruz, Courtois, Isco, Bale, Casemiro, Michello. Uh, that'll do from there. Maybe we want to go to the Premier League. Maybe we want to go and steal some players from England as well. Let's just jump in. Uh, England, who's got some decent players? Well, we know Man City are absolutely star-studded. Let's take some of their players. Kevin De Bruyne, he's going to go off to Norway as well. And the Norwegians will be loving this team playing in their league. It's going to dominate, that's for sure. Aguero, Silva, Sane, Fernandinho, Otamendi. Yep, sure, no worries. We've got all those players. So there's a squad of 51 now at Ranheim. So we jump back over to our Norwegian side. And we go and have a look here. They should be a five-star team. They are. Now, the attack, mid, and defense hasn't updated because the first team hasn't been updated. So if we jump in here now, uh, we cut across, and let's offload the rest of these lads to the free agency list. All of these low-rated players can go. Apologies if they are uh, a fan of the club and it's your, uh, your hero or something like that. But they are now gone. All of these 60-odd players have been removed from the Norwegian side. And what are we sitting at? 33, that's probably decent. Let's go and have a look at the current squad now. Five star, five star, 91, 90, 89. That updates immediately, so we back out. Let's go and have a look at the team sheet. And uh, we'll jump across to Norway. All right, let's have a look here. Ranheim football. Okay, that's a, a pretty disturbing looking team, isn't it? We can jump in here, have a look at the actual team sheet. Coutinho, Ronaldo, Messi is in there. Modric, Busquets. Well, you'd probably swap them around. Um, it's just whoever you want. Whoever you want to bring into a team and uh, really have some fun with in a, a superstar style career mode. Bring in whoever you like. Now let's go and jump over to the career mode so I can show you how to import this and make sure that you've got this team available for you. So before we jump into the career mode, I want you to go back to profile and I want you to save the squads for one last time. Just if you've made any uh, adjustments to the formation, you can put your tactics and everything in like that in before you start the career mode. So they'll always be there and available for you. So you don't have to keep setting them up every time. So we'll overwrite that. And that has to be our current squad. Uh, it has to be the one that's sitting at the top. If we go to load squads, it has to be the one in the number one place. If you load up one of the other squads, that will overtake and that will be the current squad. So make sure that the one that you've just edited is at the top as your current custom squad. So we're ready to start our new career with our superstar team, or if you've just made those uh, you know, adjustments in transfers that haven't been implemented by EA just yet, we come across, we go to new career, of course, and we enter the career mode. Now we're gonna do obviously a manager career. You could use this for player career mode as well. Maybe you wanna build a superstar team, do a my player and chuck yourself in there and you know go for broke from league two or something like that. That could be definitely an interesting way to play career mode. But we're gonna jump into manager career. We're not gonna use any of this stuff. We're just gonna advance. 
Now, of course, we need to go and find our team, which is Norway. And uh, we've got our team here in Ranheim now. It's already using those custom Karma current squads. Uh, so you can see there we've got five star. Only a transfer budget of under a million dollars. Club work, but I don't think is quite right with the superstar players are in here. But we will advance and uh, we'll give ourselves a name of Mr. Custom. Just to, uh, you know, you know, make it authentic. Mr. Custom. And maybe he's Norwegian as well. Maybe he's just uh, absolutely uh, robbed a bank or something to, to get this team going. Anyway, let's start this career mode. And uh, this is a really important one. This is probably the change for FIFA 19. You can obviously uh, change up to ultimate difficulty if you're that way inclined. Um, but here we go. So the stadiums do get reset. You can rename your stadium here or you could do it previously. If you'd reset the, uh, the stadiums, um, you wouldn't want to reset all squads. Okay, well, we can explain that in a different tutorial. But here we go, squads. We want to use current squads. We don't want to use the initial squads. We need to use the current squads so that it loads up all of the hard work that you've done to get here. Uh, the transfer window is everything. Everything is fine. Now we hit advance. So we start up our career mode. We can advance the invites for a pre-season tournament as well. It's not offering us any money because... Uh, our team has no cash, but obviously it is a star-studded lineup with uh, all the quality players from around the world. And uh, you'd assume that they would be very much ready for, for a decent team. Now, it has adjusted the team just a little bit. It's put Suarez up front rather than Ronaldo. Um, you can change the formation. You can do whatever you want. You're, you're ready to start a career mode. Now, what I think would be quite funny is let's simulate to the end of the season and just see if this team does get... Uh, well, can they go undefeated? Can it be an invincible team? I'm pretty sure it will be, but uh, we'll be back shortly at the end of the season. Okay, so we rejoin here at the end of the season. We'll have a quick look at some of the statistics. Suarez has got 25 goals from 30 matches. Bale and Sane both with 14. And, uh, well, no Messi, no Ronaldo. And, um, well, we'll have to wait and see if they even played any games in this one. Assist-wise, Rakitic, Sane, Marcelo uh, all played a lot of games. Bale and Suarez as well with some assists. And clean sheets, it was Oblak with 18 clean sheets. And, um, yeah, well, you'd assume that we've taken this one out. Let's have a look at the league table. So we do finish top of the table with 78 points, but we managed to lose two games and draw three, even with this star-studded side. I'm not sure what happened there. You'd assume that it should have been an invincible side, but only conceding 13 goals and scoring 79 goals for the season. So they would have qualified there for uh, Europa, I think for the Norwegian League, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, I mean, you've got a star-studded lineup there. They've got the job done. Now, one other thing that we can test out here is maybe you want to try and utilize these custom rosters to build two superstar teams that you can use in kickoff mode. So let's jump back out of career mode. Let's go and see if we can use these teams in a kickoff scenario. All right, so let's see if we can use our uh, our custom squads here for kickoff. Maybe you've got the boys around, you want to build two superstar teams just to take each other on. So we jump into kickoff, of course. It's going to download and apply the offline squads if you have that already selected. Choose your team side, of course, and it will load in. Now, we pick whichever match we want, and we can see here we've got live form on at this stage. So if we jump across here to our Norwegian side, we can see that we've only got one and a half stars. So it's definitely not the team that we brought in. If we have those custom squads already set up to go and we press the triangle, it will apply the offline squads, and there you go. You've got uh, ready to go, that big team that you've uh, pulled in. So you can utilize them, play whoever you like, and if we jump in here and have a quick look at the team rosters, go into team management, and there we go. So you can use these ones for offline kickoff. I'm not sure if you can use them online. If you do find that out, let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, that is a full tutorial on how can you can use these custom rosters for career mode and for kickoff. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. And if you want some more tutorials, make sure you subscribe. We'll have some new, fresh content coming for you very, very soon. I've been Spiron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. This video is powered by Neurotech and their product, Clarity. Now you can jump over to their website now, use the discount code DK10 for 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I highly recommend this product. I use it every single day. It increases your energy, your focus, while reducing fatigue and stress. If you wanna know how I get out all these videos and keep that work going, this is the product for you. So go and check it out. All the information that you need is on that website. If you feel like making a purchase, chuck in at that discount code for 10% off. 
Now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.